This video is going to show you how to create a broadcast on Teams. So a broadcast is a great way to send out a message, um, even a particular message to a group of people or a selected group of people. So to start doing that, you are going to head on over to the broadcast section, which is right here. And if you haven't set up a broadcast um, at all yet, you'll first be asked to select a time zone. Um, time zones are done by cities, so choose the biggest city to you in the same time zone. Mine is London, which is what's the default, and so I'm happy with that. Otherwise, you've got a drop down, um, and you can just type in your city, and then it will come up with the time zone that would be most related to you. Uh, I am in London, so I am going to choose GMT, and then save and continue. Um, Bear in mind that you won't be asked this every time you do schedule a broadcast, but you can change uh, your time zone at any time in the broadcast section. So save and continue, and then you'll be taken to your schedule a broadcast section where you can start setting up your ping. So first things first, you are going to choose the message you want to schedule. I want to schedule my welcome message. So I'm gonna click on this drop down menu here, and I'll be shown all the messages that are in my bot. Uh, my welcome message is right there. Um, they're ordered in alphabetical order. Uh, so just scroll on to the bottom for W, click on that. Alternatively, if you've got a fair few messages within your bot, you can also search for it. So I'm gonna start typing in welcome and then the welcome message will come up straight away. So I'm super happy with that. So I'm gonna select it. Next is choosing your target audience. So this is who the message is gonna go out to. You've got a selection of um, options here. Uh, you can either just choose one or you can choose more than one. Um, but let's start with bot audience. So bot audience is um, all the users that have come into the bot so far. Their people have interacted with the bot. So the bot has saved their details to the back end. So if you just wanted to select that, everyone who has interacted with the bot will be sent this welcome message. Um, it's probably the easiest way to send a message out. Um, there's not much to change or refine. So um, that's super simple. Next up is Teams. So if you've got a certain team that you want to send a message out to on your tenant, you can simply uh, select that and then you can type in your team. Uh, the team I'd probably send mine to is called TBP Test. So I'm going to start typing that in and then you can see that it's pulled it in. So I can click on that. Uh, you can choose more than one. So if you wanted to choose uh, a team and a segment, you can. Otherwise, you can click off teams and I'll get rid of that setting. And then you can click on segment. Please note that you have to create a segment first. Uh, you can do these two ways. You can go to manage segment, then upload a CSV of email addresses into a segment that you create. Or you can add an opt-in button into your bot. And when people click that button, they will be added into a segment. So... Uh, I have got a segment for my UK, co UK colleague, sorry. So I'm gonna start typing in UK. So when I, it'll start pulling that information through. And once I've selected that, the broadcast is currently um, scheduled to go out to this segment called UK employees. Um, you might've noticed whilst I was going through those options, there was this little banner that was um, changing colors. So when there's nothing set and something does need to be set up, it will go orange to highlight that you haven't got the settings properly set up. When you have got your um, settings properly set up, it will turn blue to show that it is ready to start um, sending the message out. Last thing with the target audience is attributes. So um, you can filter these targets uh, in a bit more detail. So for example, in my UK employees, say I just wanted to send the message to myself, I can do that. So I'm gonna click um, attributes here and I am going to um, select first name and then I'm gonna type in my first name, just there. So I know that I'm the only person who is going to get that message now. I'm just gonna change from segments actually to bot, um, to bot audience. Um, so it's just a bit clearer and then I can see my broadcast audience is here. It's a nice little summary so you know you've uh, built your audience right. Um, so I am going to be sending my welcome message out to the bot audience but it's only filtered down so only I will receive it. So last thing to do on your broadcast setup is to select your date and time. 
Uh, you don't need to really worry about the notification sound and vibration. That is only for um, other apps that we use, so pass that by. So you have got a date and time picker here. So you can choose um, from um, your calendar. So if you knew that you wanted to send it out on Monday the 15th at nine o'clock, you simply choose 15th. And then you would just change the dial to nine or simply type in nine. And then I want to send out 9.30 a.m. Um, if you wanted to choose something p.m., so if you wanted to send at end of the day, so 5.30 p.m. instead, all you need to do is click on a.m. and that will change to p.m. And you can see it reflected here. So you've got a little summary of your date and your time. I actually want to send out my message now. So I'm going to click set to now and then send it out. And I can send it out by clicking schedule. So that is it. My broadcast has gone out because I set it to now and it will pretty much go out instantly. And you have a little summary of the broadcast that is going out. So it has the message here. It has got your bot audience here. Uh, we've decided to not exclude anyone. Uh, and then you have got your scheduled time and date. Um, once the message has gone out, simply just refresh the page and you will see these uh, numbers have changed. So this is how the broadcast has gone out. So it's gone out to an audience of one, which is perfect. So I just want it to go out to me and it's gone out to me successfully. Um, if you had an audience of say like a thousand, you'll be able to track that here. Um, the complete status is ha ha if the message has gone out from our system and then the success metric is how many people have received that message. So I'm going to head on over to Teams now and hopefully I will be able to see my welcome message, which is here. So I have just received that little ping and then I can go in and carry on with my bot flow based on that one ping. I'm going to show you a few more things in the broadcast section. Uh, I'm actually going to set up another one and I'm going to show you how to edit it. So I will schedule a broadcast again. Uh, same thing, I'm going to choose the same message. I'm going to choose a welcome message, but this time I'm just going to choose a different audience. So I will probably go with my UK segment this time, which I didn't go with last time. Um, you will see this orange banner. So if you have um, already sent a message, you will get this um, message. But if you if you are fine with sending your message again, then totally ignore it. It's just there to just give you a heads up, really. So. Sending my welcome message, send it to my segment UK employees. And then I have got my little summary here, which I'm happy with. And then I am going to set my date and time to tomorrow at 10 a.m. So choose 9th of March, type in 10, and then click on here to change it to a.m., not p.m. I actually want it to go out weekly as well. So we've got a little thing up here called repeat. So I'm just gonna click on repeat. And I am going to choose from the drop down how um, often it's going to go out. So I want it to go out weekly. So click weekly from the drop down. And then I want it to uh, go out every two weeks. Actually, maybe it wants every other week might suit um, this spot better. So I've got an option to choose up to 10 weeks. Here we go. I'll pick two. And then you can also choose when it repeats on. So I've chosen it to go out on a Tuesday. Uh, so I wanna keep that um, the same. So I'm just gonna simply click on Tuesday here. So now I have set up my repeat settings to go out every two weeks on a Tuesday and it will go out at 10 a.m. I am happy with that. So I'm gonna go over and click on schedule to save those broadcast settings. And now you will see uh, your summary again. So you'll see your message, you will see the audience that we're sending it out to, and you'll see uh, when it's scheduled. So uh, we won't see the um, numbers now until tomorrow morning, but you do have the opportunity to delete just in case you did want to do that. Um, if you aren't happy with that broadcast, simply delete it and then it will be removed and no longer scheduled to go out. There we go. That is how you set up a broadcast. Um, you can go in and make it a bit more um, refined and if you wanted to add more than one uh, segment or exclude segments, that's also possible. Um, you can contact us on Intercom if you wanted a bit more help with that though. But yeah, those are the basics and I hope you have um, a straightforward time setting up your broadcast.